Thank you, Chair. By the end of this year, we will have laid down the tracks for the European Energy Union. And it is exciting times, ambitious times, as the Energy Union is one of the biggest and most important projects in the history of the European Union. We have to deliver. And why is it that we are creating this energy union? Well, to create a well-functioning energy market, to attract capital, to create growth and jobs, and to push the sustainable transition agenda much further. And not least to be less dependent on Russian gas and supplies from Putin. Which leads me to the obvious question, where does Nord Stream 2 fit in? in this context? To me, the simple answer is it doesn't fit at all. And I'm fully aware of the fact that we will be dependent to some degree on Russian gas in years to come. But bear in mind that Nord Stream 1 is only operating at around half of its capacity today. And therefore, I find it very hard to find any economic, environmental or political arguments for Nord Stream 2. I find it very hard to see any positive perspectives for others than Mr. Putin in this. So far, I don't think that neither we, the European Parliament, or the Member States have taken Nord Stream 2 and the perspectives of this project seriously enough. More than anything, we need to conduct a firm geopolitical study on Nord Stream 2 and the implications of this project. We need the European Commission to step up its efforts, ensuring that Nord Stream 2 complies with all our laws and intentions. If not, we risk putting the entire energy union in jeopardy, and that would be a total disaster. Thank you very much, Chair.